continuing with the project Likuti Sikhs, we're gonna to learn today, Bo Hashem is starting on Khumish, Komish Mois, last week was Khazak Khazak, and we're starting Shmois Khalik Tezayan. We're gonna learn Sikh Gimel and Khalik Tezayan. Givaldik, there's not to, I don't have the words to say what this Sikh is. It's our Rashi, beautiful Rashi, not understood completely. And the Rebbe is gonna teach us how to learn Rashi. The Rebbe is gonna open up our eyes and see what Rashi meant. Go into Rashi's head and see what Rashi meant. After that, the Rashi is becoming Poshet Lichtik, light. And then the Chumish, the Posik in the Chumish that the Rashi is, is explaining is becoming a new Posik, a new Chumish. And the Rebbe is gonna bring the Rashi. The Rebbe is gonna ask, five questions, beautiful questions on Rashi. And then the Rebbe is gonna to try to give an answer. And the Rebbe is gonna say, I can't use it because of three questions on, on the Rebbe's Chidush. Then the Rebbe is gonna give his Chidush Niflo answer, and all the questions are going down. By the end of the Sikhe, there's a Yenu Shel Teiro, Poshet Gishmak, Yenu Shel Teiro, the Rebbe connects everything together, like a big puzzle with all the pieces, unbelievable. And there's also a beautiful Limud, a very special Limud, what we learn from this Yenu Shel Teiro, that as you mentioned that you learned last week in the Sikha also, the idea of not always thinking about yourself, thinking about somebody else. Or better think about somebody else than the Rebbe is going to think about you, like the Esmin Ayoyim Yoyim. I think it's Balshem Tov Savot. Or Bol Ta'idin, where the Rebbe is to all All these the three things that it says in Ayoyim Yoyim. So it's push it beautiful every word. Okay. Before we start the Sikha, just a second to give what is it. There is two Psukim in Parsha, one after the other. Moshe Rabbeinu was put in a table, he put in the, was put in the river, then Basparo he came down to, to bathe, and uh, she saw it, and there was um, a Ness. Yeah, she was too far, you know, and stretched out, and she picked up Moshe, and she took him out, he didn't want an else. So Punk was there, his sister was standing there. Yochavet uh, is the mother. Miriam was there, and she said, I'll bring him. So she went and she brought her mother, and she took him. By the end, what does it say? It says, Vaigdala Yelet. But the value of the bus power. When Moshe Rabbeinu got big, Yochebet or Miriam brought him back to bus power. She gave him a condition. Take the baby and nurse him. He doesn't want to nurse. He can't live without nursing. Then there's a posse right after that. A posse after that. And what happened then? He saw the mice with the mitzri and he killed the mitzri. So we have two psukim. One is Vaigdal Ayelet, one is Vaigdal Moshe. And this is what this Sikha is based on, what Rashi is based on, and the Rebbe is explaining it. Poshet Mamish Kishmak. Aleph, from Poshet Vaiba Yomi Moim, this is the second one. Vaiba Yomi Moim, Vaigdal Moshe, Vayetse, Vayachza Mitzri, is Rashi Matik Diverta Vaigdal Moshe. And we remember always one of the major Kloli Rashi that the Rebbe gave already at the beginning when he started Rashi Tov Shin Chofei, that if Rashi, that whatever is in Rashi from the Poshet is also Rashi, and it's pretending it's Negea to every word in Rashi. And we're going to see one of the questions is going to be what does it bring down both words if it doesn't if it's only bothered by one? Vaigdal Moishun is Mefarish. It says a posik before Vaigdal Ayelet. What's again Vaigdal Moishun? And Rashi is finishing. Omar Abdude Berebiloi, Orisho in Lekoimo, Vasheni Ligdule. The first one that says Vaigdal Ayelet, but the is that it became big, and Asheni Ligdule that it became. Gdule, what's Gdule? So Rashi is finishing. Shemino Paroi Al Beisoy. Paroi made him for in charge on his house. Maybe every morning to look if there's enough bread. Be in charge of the house. That's what it means. Mino Al Beisoy. Okay. Learning the pastures. This is the Rashi. Learning the pastures is by Rashi Koshe. The Zelbe Kashi be Medrash. The Choir, when I learn it simple, I start learning the Chumish. I've been Chumish the Mikro. But it's bad Rashi. So the Rabbi says, like the Medrash. A stage in free at the Possig by Moish in Vaigdala Yelet, a Possig to the Possig by Igdal Moish at Svetmo. It says already one time. What's that second time? Could have said, Vay by Yomi Moim, Vay Yetzi Moish, Elecho. If a Possig to Normal, if they meant what Rashi, Rashi bothered with this, or Marab Yude, or Rishon Le Koim of Ashen Ligdule. Yeah, so we have a the Rebbe gives a simple answer what bothered Rashi, and that's why Rashi gives this period. The Rebbe says, No, I can't learn it. This is not what bothered Rashi, the Shumoif. Why? The Rebbe says, The period is of a Lichoire. This is the Rebbe's language. In Gansen, Nish was standing. It's not understood because it doesn't make sense that this is the thing that bothered Rashi. Why? So the Rebbe is explaining. The Friedrich Apostol, Vaigdal Ayelet, stayed about to be Hemshech, not the birth of Atik Achoyish of Ayelet, but in Ikeu. Because the Fun is standing, we passed that already when Vaigdal Berger and his man, who was in Ikeu, Bishop Dalet Chodesh. As the Noch is Vaigdal Ayelet, that man is Tom Kamatsi, Niki and the Far, 
but we will pass part. I'm just explaining a very simple, very good smack. What does it mean? I don't like yellow, but we will pass part. Why did she take the Moshe? Because he didn't want a nurse. But if but, but she took him to nurse. Yeah. The minute by Igdala Yelet, it became big. So what happened then? It doesn't have to nurse anymore. So he went back to Basparo. Right? So this posik is understood. Now the Rabbi said the second posik is also understood. Now the Rabbi says in the other paragraph, Rabbi Vaigdal Moshe, in them posuk doesn't talk about the age that it was finished nursing, and he has to go back to Basparo. It's two separate uh, time zones. One is when it was 24 months when he started, when he stopped nursing she brought him, and then Vaigdal Moshe. So I can't say that Rashi was bothered why it says two times Vaigdal Moshe has the Madrash. So we don't have an answer about bothered Rashi. But Vaigdal Moshe in them post the Red Vegan Giddle was bringing to a Meglachat by Yachasamitri. This Vaigdal is 24 months. 24 months is not in a stage of a Yachasamitri. I could have been told 24 months. It may be, maybe it's not even working yet to good by 24 months. So it can be. So that's Chumish is understood very simple. Why did bother Rashi? We don't know. I feel enough them where it's a gefunden, but a longer Zeit war Bas Paroi. Then it could happen. And what is the schwer the cave of Vaigdal? So I can say that this is what Bader Rashen, the same as the Mepresh. So we're standing with the same question. What did Bader Rashen in this posse that he's trying to explain? So this is in general, what did Bader Rashen? Now in the inside of the Rashen, as Rashen is explaining, we're going to have five questions. Beautiful questions. Okay, always based. In dem Pirush Rashi Gufe, in the Pirush, darf man verstehen. Alef, der Derach von Rashi mit Pirusha ist wie gerät viel mal, nicht so ist deutsch und früher die Schwierigkeit im Postik mit der Nachverrenzerung, nach das Malten mit Weihe dem Postik und mit der Rechmele wird verrenzt, wird die Scheile im Postik. Topf war was da, euch Rashi an mit der Scheile, weil euch war gesehen, weil ich da leihe. Very simple thing. Rashi comes to explain the Bechomisch le Mikro, what the Chomisch is saying. So Rashi doesn't say the question and he gives you the answer. Rashi gives a, Rashi gives a statement. According to this statement, you understand that it was a question, and he gives you the answer. Here, the same thing. Why did Rashi say, Valoi, Faxi, Vaigdala Yelet? That says already one time, Vaigdala Yelet. Rashi usually doesn't do it. But what, what, should, what should Rashi have done here, like he does in all the other places? Omar Abudab Rabiloi, or Rishoi, Lekoimo. So I would know that Rashi bothered, why is there two Vaigdals? Originally, Lekoimo, Vashene, Likdule. This is the answer. So a beautiful question. Why is Rashi bringing down a question and then an answer? And according to the Rebbe's Chidush, it's going to be beautiful why, the, why Rashi is doing it. A base, a second shayla. We passed out a lot in original Koima. Why does Rashi say, Omar Abir Berebeloi, original Koima? It doesn't fit this original Koima here. Why? From the Bismarck, when a kid was not born, when he came to the Zoo, in the status of his children, he came to the Zoo. We established, that what the way you bas paroi must be when he finished nursing, because she gave him to nurse. When he finishes nursing, he comes back. So the rabbi said, when a two-year-old two stops nursing, he starts walking, he starts gaining weight, he starts growing tall, and his seichel is developing, he's starting to speak clear. Why does Rashi choose originally koim, that he became tall? Why doesn't he use everything? Say, say that he originally became big. The rabbi said, so let's see inside. As come to walk, he gains, he gains a lot of weight. And most, he becomes big. And he starts speaking more clear. And the seichel is being developed more. According to the Rebbe's we'll see why Rashi is beginning to become Very good. Very good. A good point. But Omar Abidu Barabeloi is also from Gimorrah. But he could have said, Omar Abidu, without Omar Abidu Barabeloi, he could have said, or Rishoin, that he became, he became, he stopped nursing, or, or some other word. Why does he have to say, Rashi doesn't bring down a medrash or a gemore with the lotion that they're saying it. Never. Not, I wouldn't say never. But it's not a must ever that Rashi is bringing down something, the whole thing, what they say. He brings down what's pretending to this thing. And, and Koimo doesn't make, make any sense. Why Koimo? <laughs> With this kasha, the first kasha. When we say over here, what did Rashi have the problem? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he says, it's the ganz in the Because it's the ganz in the that's the reason that he brings down the required Sivaigdo. Because if I wouldn't bring the required Sivaigdo, what the Chinese is the Rashi? As if the ganz in the Shastanic, it's the Dabishan Keshaila. 
No, no, it's very good. It's a sheer, it's not uh, something that I learned for myself or I, I record. It's uh, very good. No, I'm very happy. Well, I'm thinking what, I, what, what could be the answer? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Gimel, the third child, what the Rebbe is asking. From one end is the Rebbe in the Shudder Shilmikro, from them, Posu, as the God of the Shivus from Moshe is Vashtanen, in the Mosmino Paroy Al Beisoy. You ask about before that, as Rabbi Yudhu Barabelo is saying it. The Rebbe says, very good, Rabbi Yudhu Barabelo is saying it. But the Shudder Shilmikro, it says anything in Posu, that Paroy made him the head of his house. He was in charge on his house. He doesn't say nowhere. From this Posu, how do we take it? Mifratas when I'm shecha posuk by yitzi elechok is mashmas is given the agatos b'shaiches so elechok to the Eden and with a medrasho. So the boy nishlonim. What does Rashi say that by looking looking footnote number nine medrash tan chum evoiro says ma'ayus dog du losoi. What's by igdal moishi? What does it mean? She yotzu elechok. Clear. So what does Rashi have to say? She mino al beisho. There's no proof in chumish in nowhere in this posuk that he made him in charge on his house. Dale the fourth question. Valdi to me from Russia is in Sadim Kefl from Vaigdal. Yeah, we established now that Russia is bothered by it says Vaigdal two times. But what is a mighty from Possecord and both Vaigdal Moshe? Why do you bring down Vaigdal Moshe also? It should have bring down from Chumish only Vaigdal. Hey, the fifth question. Can we do a common poem and bring Russia the number from Balamaima? Also, for one of the clearly Russia that the Rebbe gave at the beginning, that when he brings down a name of whoever says it, there is a, what do you call him in English? Somebody is sharp and he has good questions. So when he brings down the, the name, so the Rebbe always would find out what bothered a special child. And with this giving the name, it gives him the answer. So the Rebbe is asking, this, this is not a question. I want to understand. What was the difference between the idea and the idea of the Rebbe? He brings that after all, he brings down the name, Omar Abidu Barabeloi. What's the reason? What, what am I gaining with that? What is he answering with that to the chat? So we have, I would like if you could, you think of an answer on your question. Before we finish, maybe you'll be able to tell us. Okay, so we have we have five questions. Number one is what does what does Rashi saying a question and an answer? Could have said right away, Baigdal Moshe, Omar Abidu Barabeloi. Now understand that bothered them. Why does it say two times by Igdal? Right. Second question is second question is why does he choose lekoima? There is a lot of developments in a child when he becomes two years, and we're talking about when she gave him back after he finished nursing. That's what the first posik is telling me. So lechoire, why is Rashi choosing this? Number three, where do we see in this posik in shuto shel mikro that he made him in charge of his house? Then question number four is that Rashi is bothered by vayigda. Why do you bring down Moshe? Moshe has nothing but to do here. Why, is, why do you bring down Vaigdal Moshe? The fifth question is that we learned already a lot of times that when it brings down the name of a Balamaima, that it's seldom in Russia, is with a reason because there's a question that a sharp kid is going to ask, and this is the answer. Okay, Ois Gimel. In Ois Gimel, as we said before, the Rebbe is giving an answer, and he's going to ask on his answer, and his Chidush, three questions that we can't use it, then he's coming to the Chidush of the Rebbe. Ois Gimel. The Chidush of the Rebbe is going to ask on his answer, and his as the Vaigdal in unser Posuk meint mit demselben Suk von Gidl in Zman, as es ist zugekommen noch asach jung, weil es ist schwer zu sagen, as der Posuk soll sagen Vaigdal stam, und damit meinen auch ich soffe von einer gewissen Zman, nicht ausdeutschen dich dabei, wie viel Zman das ist, noch ein Gadlus in Chivus, legt du lechul. Rashi was, the Rebbe wants to say, that Rashi was bothered, it says Vaigdal ayelet wat veyle vas paroi, so I know it's 24 months. Then it says Vaigdal Moshe, but it doesn't say how old it was. And it says that he killed the Mitzri. So Rashi, Rashi is bothered with this. That's why Rashi gives the answer that Hashem is the That in Shuta Shel Mikro, I see that there must be here that he became something. Power he made him in his house. So the Chayyim answers all the questions. So the Rebbe says, "No, I can't use it." But this is must speak, and I can't use it. This is must buy. The Rebbe is going to say three questions on this Chiddush that the Rebbe wants to say. Aleph, I was a Rashi. Weil Leute, die sich über die Kinder 
not Mshat from Vaik Dal Moshe in Unza Posik. What comes out according to the Rebbe's Chidush now that Rashi was bothered here, what it says Vaik Dal Moshe without a date, without any time zone? How, how old was he? So why do you bring down Valuik from Nemba Vaik Dal? So it doesn't make any sense. So it can't be that this is the thing that bothered Rashi, and this is what he answered. This is one proof that I can't use the Rebbe's Chidush. Based on view of Mersh from Vaik Dal Ayelet, I just meant the Koimo is Ibari. You're not bothered with the first one. You're bothered only with the second one. If you're bothered only with the second one, bring down by Igdal Moishe, either say Omar Rav Yudu Berebeloi or without Omar Rav Yudu Berebeloi, by Igdal Moishe, Likdula, Shemenei Upawe Al Beisai. That's it. What are you clicking to the first posse if it's not re relevant here? So the second reason why we can't use it, Gimel, as that's right, by Igdal is when you get Shibus regardless of Gdula, the Rebbe says, Rashi didn't have to say nothing. If this is Rashi's bother, why it says Vaigdal Moshe without a time zone, everybody, every child would understood what it means. Why? So the Rebbe is explaining. As I said, Vaigdal is being she was regardless that he made him like Dulo, but when you can't understand, Oich on Pirush Rashi, you don't need Pirush Rashi on it. Although with it's way more, Vaigdal, the Rebbe has proof that I think that the Ben Chomish Lemikro learned already. It says Vaigdal was staying free by Yitzchokim, stayed Vaigdal a yelled by Gomal, and then right after that it says Vaigdal Oish, Vayelech Oler Vegodel, Ad Ki Godal Meoid. And Rashi says nothing because there's no question. Why? Because the first, uh, the first Vaigdal by Yitzchok is in Zman. What happened then? This Vaigomel, he stopped nursing. It means it was 24 months. And that's why the Vaigdal is, is in movement from God. He became, he became a, a rich man. And the Ramshech HaKosov, Vaigdal is in the Tzoy, in the Boko, and the Avudo Rabo, who are saying, people would say, better to have this Zebel, it's better to have the, the, the seven that, that the, what do you call it in English? Ex, exhume some, what's the word? Seven? Yeah. Garbage. No, it's not garbage. What did you say? Excrement? Yeah, that's what I meant. Excrement, yeah. yeah. Better to have the seven and not have Kaspar is always love melech. So the rabbi said a beautiful thing. I have a remember that he learns by Igdal by Igdal, and that means by Igdal he stopped nursing, and by Igdal he became rich. Here is also the same thing. By Igdal he became stopped nursing, and by Igdal Moshe, he made him in charge of his house. He became Choshev and he's in charge of his house. Okay, so we have we're coming back to the five questions on Russia that we don't understand, or is Dalit Rebbe going to start um, explaining what it is? Or is Dalit Rebbe or Becholze? The Apostle Zog Vayi by Yomim Oein Vayigdal Moishe. Was Vivaldo State Balt Noch Apostle Vayigdal Ayelet, meant as the Vayigdal Moishe is given by Yomim Oein from Friel non zum Zman, from Vayigdal Ayelet, but Vayu Lebas Paro, Vayu Lebein. Beautiful. Listen to this, what the Rebbe is, is finding out what is the bother here. It says Vayigdal Ayelet, but Vayu Lebas Paro. Understood? Stop nursing. She brought him to bar. Then uh, one Posig, right after that, Connected to this, it says, by Yomim Oim. What does it mean? At the same time. So I can't say that it was 10 years, 11 years, or 15 years. If, if, if it would have said, by Yomim or Rabbi Moim, I would have known that there's, when she brought him, it was 24 months. Now, by Yomim or Rabbi Moim, by Igdal Moishe, and then he killed the Mitzri. So it doesn't make any sense. What is by Yomim? What's going on here? What age did she bring him to? to, to to uh, Bas Paroi, and at the same time, he went and killed the Mitzri. So it can't be that it's 24 months. What is going on here? This is what it's about. Listen to this. Push it beautiful. As Vaigdal Vaigdal Moishe, is Gdoilo Bechshivus, but it's not Kane Open to Zong as in the Yomi Moim from Vaigdal Ayelet. Noch the tech was here, Zmana Yenike is Vaigdal Moshe Likdule. It's impossible that if it's Vayomi Moheim, that Paroi made him Likdule, it's no way in the world that it could be such a thing. The river is Rashi Mefaresh, original Lekoimo, Vashene Likdule. It's Taka in the same time, but original Lekoimo and Vashene Likdule. Now we're going to understand also why Rashi is choosing from gaining weight upon everything. He chooses only which one? Lekoimo. Why? Because it's a completely different time zone. Uh, the Rebbe is going to be Mechadesh, it's not the Rebbe's Chidush. The Rebbe is just Mechadesh it to us in this posik, how we explain it. The Chidush is in Medrash. How old was Moshe when she brought him back? 11 years old. 
So now we have a new understanding in the Posik and now Rashi is bothered with this, but he can't explain it there because when you learn this first Posik, you really think that it's 24 months. When you come to the second Posik, you see that it can be 24 months because it says must be at the same age, he's already 11 years old. That's why Rashi has to bring also the Shaila. All the questions that we ask is going to go down with this Yes, so the Rebbe is putting down here. The Rebbe is rushing my parish of Rishon Likoyim and Vashen Likdule. The Rika Chidush in them is Nish Ben Eged and Vaigdal from Nunza Posuk. Rashi is not bothered with the, with the Vaigdal Moshe from our Posuk. He's bothered with that Vaigdal Moshe, if it's finishing nursing or not. Vashen Likdule. No, as the Vaigdal from Friedrich from Posuk meant Likoyimo. That's what Rashi says Likoyimo. What does it mean Likoyimo? Likoyimo is not by two years old. Likoyimo means that he was 11 years old. Vaigdal Ayelent meant Nishim Gidul was not his man Ayinike. As we learned, we learned the Posik before, we learned that it was 24 months. When is he bigger? 11, 12 years old is much bigger. Now it's not the Posik. Where does it say 11, 12? We got to have it soon in, the, in, a, in, a, in one of the hours that I've been saying for Medrash. That it was 11 years old. Moshe left, the house. Moshe left his father and mother when he was 11 years old. So it's it's just unbelievable. It says Vaigdal Ayelat what we have to do. Right after that, it says Vaigba Yomi Mohe. At the same time, Vaigdal Moshe Vayetze. What what that mean? So the first one is Taka eleven, and Vaigdal Moshe the second one must be that is an age already that Paroi could make him in charge of his house. And now we're going to learn one more part, and then we're going to come to answer the five questions that we learned. And those was the word. Now the Rebbe is going to have two or three questions on this Yesod. The Rebbe is going to say it's not it's not questions. Beautiful. First question is, what does it say beginning? It says, What do you want to tell me? That is 11 years old. How could it be a yellow 11 years old? Mok makes more sense. He stopped nursing 24 months. So the Rebbe is going to explain it beautiful. The Rebbe says, And those who have heard no hal song group in yellow, it's can't mean it. A child could ask a question. I'm not expect, I'm not accepting what he's telling me. Vaigdala Yelet 11 years old. I should have said Vaigdal Moshe again. Why does it say Vaigdala Yelet? Remember, when, when he came back to the, to the pit and Yosef was not there, so he started crying. And then he said, I'll take it to the Bayele. Who did he talk about? Meaning the Yosef. Because he's done all given Zibet's in your. What is he calling him? Yelet. By 11 years old, Moshe could also be Yelet. It's not a question. Look in our uh, 24, the Rabbi brings more eyes. The past is Vayero, there's a Yelet. When, when Avram sent away Ishmael and his mother, Ogo, and he gave him a famous mime and he put him on, on her shoulder, what does it say? Where's Ayelet? You know how, Ishmael, how old Ishmael was then? 16 years old. How could it be Ayelet? And the Rebbe has another one, even more. When they came to, when, in Parshish Vaigash, when Yudo went over to Yosef and told them that uh, I can't go back to my father without being I mean, what did he tell him? That we have a Ayelet Skunim Koton. It says clear, but Yelet Skunim Cotton, a little child. How old was he? 30 years old. Why doesn't it say 33? Why? That's how it was? That was my husband. And the Rebbe says, Be'er. The Rebbe doesn't say Lamet. The Rebbe says, Be'er. And by it says, Keben. Anyway, so anybody who's going to ask that question, Rebbe, how could you give me a Chidush that there was Vaigdala Yelet that he was already 11 years old? It's not yellow. We have proved that the yellow is fine. Okay. So we must come to a conclusion that the is lekoimo. That's why Rasha chooses lekoimo. It's very understandable because with Smichu, so that's man. When he was at this age, when he was trying to give a chance to lekoimo, can I say that Egdal Moshe in Gdule Bechshivus was shown in Gdule? The mitzvah is a movement was Rasha is mefare the shaila. Now we'll understand why Rasha brings the question. He doesn't go straight to Omar. Why? Because the Iker Chidush Beferushoi is as in Sadem was those states no more like the Moshe by the Tatish from like the Yelet in Friedrich Posuk. There is also another Medrash that I I didn't mention before that Moshe Rabbeinu when he when 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 he came back he, when when he came out this like the Moshe and he went out he was either twenty years or four years. There's two opinions in Medrash Rabbe. How old he was when he went out to... Because he was five. Where? Or 26. He was five, like 11. <coughs> yeah, okay. So we have five, like 11. We have 11. And we have 20. It's coming. It's coming up soon. I'll show it to you soon in the, in the hours. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Twenty-nine. Ben Yud Beis John and Nitlas Moshe Rabbeinu Ben Beis Sovi. Rashi says specific age. No, Rashi says that it's not just not twenty-four, not twenty-four months. Yes, okay. So, so comes out very interesting. When you learn now, let's learn the Chumash. Learn Vayigdal Vayigdal a Yelad. We learn twenty-four. You come to Vayigdal Vayi Bayomi Moim Vayigdal Moshe. I can't say that it's twenty-four months. So, answering it there, you can't because there's no question when you learn it. The question becomes when you learn this pasuk. That's why Rashi brings the question. And it says, so what's going on here? Okay. Ois, hey. No, no. Six years, Yosef was born. He worked six years in Lava. Six, seven years. Seven. And then there were 18 months plus has another two years. Eight years. Eight and something. So, so, and he was now 30, and he was now 30. Yes, it was 39. So it's 31. It's 30 something. Okay. I said before that the Rebbe is going to ask questions on his own chidush. Okay. He's going to begin. As I said before, how could you call him Yele? Why do you say that Yele is 11? Yele should be a nail, stopping nurse. Now the Rebbe is going to ask a beautiful question. Why did you give it to your chavet to nurse? What does Seichel say? After two years, bring him back. She's going to demand, give me back the baby, it's mine. Till she loved him so much that she called him Vayil Olebein. She called him, it's like our son. She gave him a name, Moshe, and everything. So the Rebbe how could it be? How could he say that's 11? He also paid for some pay. So yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So can you pay next Very good. She paid for the nurse. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Can I ask another question on the Rebbe's Chidush? The Baal has passed paru with the Mielet, he gave him notes to live in Kiyuli, in Kiyuli. Is wie kommt es, was ihr der Lost man soll ihm zurückbringen, als noch dem wir es ausgewachsen bekommen, was genau am Meshach Jahren noch dem war nein nicht. Er konnte mit der Schilder dort gehen. So, der so. Rebbe says, you can ask a question on my Chidush, it's not a Chidush, er konnte be. So, der Rebbe ist anzurecht, be Pashtus. Is das Bore, go be Pashtus. Die Baal, die Mutter, die Chabe, die Schein, bekommen in ihr Jahrlet Moshe, because she got him already. Und sie ihm nicht zurückgegeben, zum Bas Bauer, she didn't give him back after the time of nursing. Why? She tried. It's our son. It's our son. It was born with our, with all mindset. They were divorced and she married again. Amram. And she had a son, but she's going to give him away by two years old. So she was doing everything to all them. What's a nimuk in English? Excuse me. Excuse us. Okay. As Boris and Imukim, that it's, that it's, it's a very interesting war room piece. That at, 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 uh, uh, even Bas Park could understand it. You know, I nursed him two years. He's attached to me. How could I give him back? Give him a little more. I hear that Yelet is real zugewohnt. He's used to her. And zugebunden is the Loshin Gimorin in Aloha is Koruch Achimoi. He runs always after the mother. It's not good with the mob rising. It's not good. It's not healthy for him to take him away by 24 months and bring him to Bas Park. But when he came already to, the, to 11 years old, there's no choice. He had to give him back then. So now it's understood why it says, when was it? Not when he stopped nursing, it was much later. So there's no question how come she didn't give him back right up. The Rabbi says, Bald as Bas Parod gewollt haben, Moishim Basir, is Muvma, as you have it, that you can't forget, no bis one, and it can sein giltig, that am Vamasle Anal. You're telling me that she was holding him till 11 years old, I still have a question on it. How could it be? You say you don't want to give him back right after nursing because he's attached to her. When is even a loch at Brodan, at five, six years old, he's already dependent, he's already dependent on himself, he doesn't need his mother so much. In the, he's independent, he's independent already. So how come she kept him till 11? The Rebbe is asking a question. So uh, it doesn't make any sense again. Well, that's what Paul told him, Moishim Bazir, or his movement, you have it that you can't forget, no bis one and it's can't sein guilty. Our reasons and our, what did you call it before the Nimukim? And, and the excuses could work. It comes a time that it can't work anymore. Bas Paul would tell her, he's six years old, enough is enough. As far as you know, it's wichtig to bleiben by the Maneke, sein dich stark zugebunden kurze. You could say that he wants to say with this, with this lady that nursed him for two years, he wants to stay with her a little longer. Because what does this mean? Gilpuna ben Chomesh v'sheish l'chola yoiser. 
We start with the same ribs, you're gonna really work on it and say, you know what, he's a special kid and he's attached to me and he doesn't let go of me. He's built some guilt for you, Dalav, you base, you know, as the Rebbe says, these ear, but the Rebbe brings on the matter of Shmoy's Rabbe, that he was like 12 years old, and Niklas Moshe, me base of it. Okay. When I was so, if you say, as long as Balt noch dem soll Moshe, in as a young elf, at Sukum and Sukdule Bershivus, Vashene Lukdule. So we come to a conclusion that he's like 11 years old. But how could it be that he should be in a matzev? By 11 years old is the latest that you could give him back. And it says right after that, by Yomi Moim, it doesn't say by Yomi Morabi. So it's at the age of 11, he became in charge of Paro's house. How could it be? It doesn't make any sense. The Rabbis Amphoring. The Faris Rashi Mamshir, as the Gdule was stating them, what is the Gdule? We must say that something happened because it says Vaigdal Moshe. It says already Vaigdal Ayelet is 11 years old, but they're telling Vaigdal Moshe. So Rashi says the Gdule. What does it mean? The first Rashi Mamshir has the Gdule by stating them was me no paroi al beisoi. He didn't become a, a, a minister. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't a, a, what's it called, a Mishnah Lemelech. He wasn't an advisor to Paroi. What was he? He was in charge of the house, a butler. Every morning, look in the fridge if there's enough milk or not, or we have to go buy milk. Things that an uh, 11 year old could do already. Sich <laughs> When, he, when she made herself sick and she wanted to, he should sin with her. So it says, so Rashi says, what's the one pirush? He came to do the cheshboinus. He was a, was a accountant already by 70 years old. He didn't go to college when he did it by himself. So he was already running the house. So it could be by Moshe Rabbein also by 11 years old. He was running the household. That's it. Oi Zayin. Oi Zayin, the Rebbe is going to explain what is the reason. Rashi says from from, from Rabbi Yudu Rabbi What's the reason that Paroi would take this child that just came to his house by 11 years old and a month or two months later, according to Vaik Dal Moshe, by Yomi Moeim, that he made him in charge of his house? Why should he do it? What's the reason? The Rebbe is going to explain it beautifully in his eye. Why is it that he did that? Is the Rashi Merameh from the Mat exam from the Post of the Board, Vaik Dal Moshe, 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 this is going to give us a reason. That's why Rashi brings down the word Moshe. What does it mean? And the rim and the man and the mid bavor and Rashi no has shy lebe negiat the word. Rashi is not only answering why he brings down Moshe because of this. He has another reason also. What's the other reason? The chayre is the word Moshe the imposuk iberi. Not only in Rashi it's extra. Even in Chumash it's extra. Why is it extra? What does it say in the pasuk before? Vayigdal and now what available as paroi? Who was it? Moshe. Next pasuk it says Vayigdal. What do we need Moshe Bechla? Anybody's going to think that it's somebody else in one person after the other? So it's not only Rashi, but in Chumish also. So the Rabbi, Rashi is answering this also with bringing it down in his Pirush of Rashi. When she wants, when she wants, give Shtane Nova Igdal, and Moshe. And this is not Shmuchach, Weiss Bukhal of Anim, Fibus of Shibus. The Posik is bringing it on. The Posik, the Rebbe asked one of the questions, where do you see him, Chutish and Mikro, that they made him, uh, he made him in charge of his house? Here we see it. Because the Torah is mentioning Vaigdal Moshe. And the Rebbe says, when it mentions a name, it shows on something that it's Shibus. What is, what is the Shibus? He's going to explain what it is. But first, we're going to look in Territu with a star. Repur Rashi Resh Parsha Sein in our Parsha in Shmois. It says, Monon Bechayeyen, Bishmoison. What is Rashi adding it up? It's enough. Monon bechaye. Why? Lo idia chiboson. He mentions something with a name. It's moidia de chibe. What is it meaning here? So the Rebbe is explaining. Frada nomen Moshe was the month. Here you have it. The month as bas paroi min amayim mishisiu nishtar veva moso amoyis arbe and so on and so on. Bas paroi, bas paroi herself. There's a whole lot of sinisiches about that she went down and she nullified. She nullified the. They avoid the Zohar from the Nilus and everything. She became like, let's say, she became a girl. She became a Balchub, a big girl. I don't know about it. I'm just saying it. But she saw Nisim. She saw Nishtar Viva Amosa Amoy Salbe. A long, a rent became 10 times the size. And she picked up the table. And so she said, so this is, a, and she gave the name Moshe. 
That's why the Poshuk says, Vaigdal Moshe. That's why Rashi brings it down also to answer us how come that he made him the Gdule. Badim Lama, the Rebbe is going to say that Bas Paroi didn't let Paroi leave. She told him, This is my son. This is a special son. I gave him a name and I saved him and I took him out and I had a nest. You must make him in charge of the house. It's very Hoshu. That's what he's going to bring out. Let's learn inside. And those men, Vaigdal Moshe, that's a godless was it came because of Bas Chavivus, beloved. Yeah? So if Moshe is chavivus when he see us chaim by bas paroi, bees listen what it says in posik. By ilo lebeim, she made him like our son. Or the poil by paroi sheminoi shemino chulu al beisoi. Now there we find by Yosef, beautiful, beautiful proof. What's by Yosef? By the rotnois the chaim given by poitifar by poitifar. Or the Yosef manning when al beisoi. Nish kuknik, listen to this. By Yosef it was a nav reason not to make him. Nish kuknik was a reason given a nav ivri and a nevet. He had both his chayinus. Why did he take him? Because he had chayin. He liked him. So the same thing is here also. So now, now we'll understand already question number one. Why is he bringing the question? Because the question is bringing us to the to, the, to understand that by Igdal Ayelat, but Vele Basparu is not but not by two years old. That's why Rashi must bring Rashi's chidush is on the first pasuk and not on the second pasuk. Second pasuk is no questions. That's why Rash, I, why, why does Rashi not say it there? Because when you learn there, you have no question. It's 24 months. And you come to the second question, you change your whole idea. The Chumish is changed. It comes a lichtik and Chumish and a lichtik Rashi. Second question was, why is he saying Lekoimo? Very simple. Because Rish Taka Lekoimo, he was 11 years old. He was, not, he was not a nursing baby, just finished nursing. And the third question, how do we see it in Pshutish and Mikro? Because it says, it says, it says, it says, it says, comes to show us that in this person there is something shivus here. Otherwise, we would have said Baigdal, Baigdal, Why does the Moshe Moishe bechlav? Third question: We build it means why is Rashi bringing down Moishe? So we have the answer already. And uh, and the fifth question about Rabbi Yudah Rebbeloi, we still have the question. We didn't answer it. Okay, now we're going to go in Oishches. Kedes on the top, like noch besser the rings as the libnesias chayin git men aminu it's einem. What is the choyre nish roy dersu? Yeah. We fraud as the dogma anal from Yosef is in the The Rebbe is going to ask you a question and say that we're coming now to the sharp child, the salty one. Yes? He's going to ask a question. Huh? Spicy. Spicy, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Unzi used to say, I But the, the, the Rebbe uses it in Lushman from that it's Talmud Memulach. Memulach means salt. Salt means, it means spicy. It's very good. Yeah. Very good. I didn't think of it. Very good word. Okay, the Rebbe is going to say a question that a um, regular child is going to accept it. Yosef Atzadik was 17 and became the bookkeeper and everything in Poitiva's house. And Moishe, by 11 years old, was in charge of the house. He was not the bookkeeper. He was in charge of the house. It's Achshivus. We know Ligdule. The Rebbe says, what do we do with a sharp Talmud, with a spicy Talmud, that is going to ask a question and say, how do you compare me Yosef to him? Yosef was 17 and he was 11. Could you compare 11 to 17? 11 is a child, a baby. And 17 is a bocher already, is a mensch. So the Rebbe is going to answer, this is what Rashi brings down. It's a big question that a child, a spicy child is going to ask. Rashi is telling him, you know who's saying it? A beautiful Rebbe Loi. So then he's going to give you the answer. What is the answer? Chidush niflo b'yoyso. The Rebbe is bringing down from other places and makes it so understood and so gishmak. Unbelievable. Okay. So the child is going to ask that Yosef is not doing me in the dance. Yosef is not relevant here. Why? Yosef was also born in the year 780. I think Moshe was in Pashtus given not more than Ben Yudal for Yud Beis. Ben Yudal for Yud Beis. Can you call Oel? Is Rashi mighty? Because the Balamayma. If you're going to ask me this question, so the answer is going to be Rabbi Yudah Berabbi. In the question was also very interesting. In the question it says that when he brings it, when he brings it, when does he bring it? He brings it to make to uh, the loss of the Rebbe to find where and to make a clatter a kasher. There's a question that the child is going to have, and this is going to answer it. Okay. What is what is the answer? Now we're starting to give the answer. Ben Rabbiude, Ben Rabbiude be Rabbi Loi, Ben Rabbiude. The Rebbe says in the Ore that some Rabbiude is Rabbiude be Rabbi Loi, as Rashi says in Gemara Bay. Ben Rabbiude wrote that same thing Gemara. This is an interesting Gemara. It is going to answer us the question. As there is given a great irony, because there was a Freyum God, not in Beget. Rabbiude be Rabbi Loi was a in between poor people. It was a special poor people, poor man. Where do we see it? That they had one garment. His wife found somewhere a very cheap, and it looked nice, uh, but it was cheap, and she made a nice, uh, in English, it's called a cape. She made like a like a coat, you know, a cape, 
in a training without uh, ends. That's what I understand from the Gemara and the Mephoshim that I learned. Anyway, she made something on top because probably the Levushim and the Badem was embarrassed to go out with that. So she needed a nice cape and people would think that they, they have money. So either she used that or he used it. They made it for both. So it's not a, another Shaila from the Ilbash Gever, similar Sisho. It was made like for both of them. And the Gemara tells us, I'm very ready to say, she's a beautiful, she's a beautiful man, Gamliel, the Nossi. But guys, the time is given, there was a problem. And he made a, he made a tonus. Or the Rabbi had time and he came to come in. He opened, he came back and don't stop. His wife was outside probably shopping or what. He couldn't go to shul to the tinies. And Rabbi Shimon ben Elozo, Rabbi Shimon ben Gabriel was asking, where is Rabbi Yudeber Rabbi Loi? What does he need him? You know, what's Rabbi Yudeber Rabbi Loi? When he comes to a tinies, he's having an effect on the Ebishtah to change and, and take away the problem. He was so poor and so great. Okay. From that's when, now the Rabbi is going to bring out that when you have chain, when you have chain, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your state, it doesn't matter your status. Abu Rabbi is so poor, look what the king made from him. Same thing is also Moish Rabbeinu. He's so beloved by Bas Paroi, she forced Paroi, yeah, it's my son, it's my beloved son, you must make him for this. This is why Rasha is saying, so for Yosef is not proof, the proof is only from the name of Abu Rabbi as we're going to see before. For that's when you fit, man, we see in Gemara Shabbos, as the case of the Reuben to sign, to sign the Reusha Medav in Bechol Mokai. He gave him an assignment, he gave him a note. The, mind, the case was telling him, wherever there is a group of people, you are the one that is talking. And not, not, in, not only this. Bees, the Gemara says in Menoches, as Moiriono de Benesi Abe. He became the Moiroi Roy. You know what Moiroi Roy? Rabbeinu HaKodesh is there, and there's all Tanoim there, and everybody's sitting. Who is the Moiroi Roy? Rabbi Yudeb Rebeloi. Who told them to do it? The Kesar. Kesar of Rome. We know Kesar, even more. We know Kaiser Roy shall be snossy. He became the Roy of the base snossy of Rabbi Yude, Rabbi Nakodish, Rabbi Yude, Rabbi Yude, Rabbi Yude Anos. He became the one. The story, just interesting to mention the story that it's coming not from such a, from such a great story. The story is not so, so great. The story is when the Gemara tells a story that Rabbi Shimon ben Yochoi beat Rabbi Yude ben Abeloi and Yehuda ben Geirim. And one more time, one more, I don't remember the name. I didn't write it down. So there was one more guy and they were sitting there and they were talking about Rome. So they said, uh, somebody said that they made such, Rome is very nice people. Look at they made very special roads. They made the uh, gyms to be able to do exercise and everything. So Rabbi Shimon Be'echoi said, whatever they did, they did for themselves. Rabbi Yudeber Rebeloi gave them credit. He said, whatever they did is a very good thing. And then, ah, Rabbi Yudeber Rebeloi, thank you very much. And then came, what did he say, Rabbi Yudeber Rebeloi? It was quiet. Rabbi Yudeber Rebeloi, it was quiet, should stay. Rab Shimon ben Yochoi that says, have to kill him. That's why he ran to the 12, 13 years in the Maire. And then Rab Yudim ben Geirim that says, Veshevach, that's why he gave him these three things. Wherever he is, he's the main speaker. Whenever he's the, he's the Moiroi Roya in the Bais. And that's, that's what happened there. So what do we see now? A poor person, it's not even fit for a Kaiser. The Kaiser is rich in everything. You're going to choose somebody to be the Moiroi Roya. He's going to choose somebody to be Roy Shamadab. Take somebody who's dressed nice, who has a lot of money and everything. No, he chose that camp because he had chain, because he spoke good about it. For that's when you find man, as the case of next paragraph, for a magamas rabbi is with such an oisal, he's the same as the kumats, if it's not a chayok, given in a tzio, was his nishmatim. It doesn't fit that such a person should be this, in this, in this, uh, set, in this status. But I mean, if not Roy Shamadab, from Malchus. Niska Loyal has given a great Roman, a fill in for Glach and It was a very big honey. Could you imagine that either he goes out to the street or she goes out, he has only one baggage? Aber mit Sadam Eile, wenn es ist, Rembe in Amalchus, because of this is Rain. The Rebbe says in our report, it's Rivit Star, the Shabbos, I'm sorry. The Shabbos, the more Shabbos, Shom, she did a Bishwach Amalchus. That's why, that's why I got it. So what happened? You did a Bishwach Amalchus, you get Rain. Same thing as, same thing as by Moshe also. Now the Rebbe is going to bring. Or after the case of the Gemara, the Rosh Hashanah Davrim, we know the case of Rosh Hashanah. Al Derech Zayis Mufim Ben Yonenu. Ah, Al Piyaz Moishe is not given young. And now, is about Mitzvah Zaymaile Zayin because he's Chaviv. But he's Chaviv so much Chaviv because he's Bas Par. He's a son of Paro of Bas Paroi. Was Oti Maroisgi Numen Min Amayim. I Lo Lebein. Or does the Chayyim Ben Chshivus with Bas Paroi? Bizas Mino Paroi Al Bas. If you say all the questions are done. Everything is beautiful, and it's how to understand what Rashi bothered you. It's amazing. The whole Hiddush that Rashi is giving 
is on the first posik, not on the second posik. But you can't give it on the first posik, you must give it on the second posik. Because when you learn the first posik, you have no question. You learn Vaigdala, Vaigdala, you was 24 months. Then we come to second posik, you must change the first posik. As we mentioned before, there's going to be a Yenish Toro in Pirush Rashi. Okay. Alle in Yonim was men gefind. By Moshe Rabbeinu, the Rebbe made Moshe Rabbeinu in parentheses because it goes on everything, on every Eid and on everything in the world. All the Yonim we find by Moshe Rabbeinu and Gashmias come and wear the stalls from the same Yonim as his own Beruchnis. Everything comes from Ruchnis into Gashmias. The Mishnah by Moshe Rabbeinu was his given the matter. Pung via his given the Milo, especially by Moshe. Moshe Rabbeinu was the matter the same as his the Milo. What is it? He was on the Shomer that sells the matter ear boy lo mazeh. Was a zoy zoyich moving by Yonim. As in the two Yonim Gdule. Originally, the Koyman Vashen in the Gdule Shemino Paroi Alm Beisoy, so the Charoiz the Tzvein Yonim and Matregas Moshe Beruchnis. We're going to bring out that Moshe Rabbeinu had not only begashmias, but Igdal Moshe originally Koyman Vashen in the Gdule first was eleven years old. Then he came to the Gdule, but in Ruchnis also. What could be two Matregas in Ruchnis? But Moshe Rabbeinu similar in parallel to this. The Rebbe is going to explain. But when those were saying the Egdem was from Posik, we're going to preface something as Zoya, and then we're going to understand that. But when those were saying the Egdem was from Posik, when he got later as Moshe, but I wrote Isha, but I wrote Bain, but I wrote Soi Kitoiv. Yeah, you know, in our parsha, but I wrote Yochavet got pregnant and she had a baby and she saw Kitoiv. So the Rebbe went and brought in Zoya. In Zoya there's a machloikus between Rab Chie and Rab Yosi. Rab Chie is of the Isyalad Maul. What did Mivatei Roisha Kitoiv? He was born circumcised. And Rabbi Yosha Yomer Neiru the Shrinte the Neuer Bei Chomos. She saw the light of the Shrinte that had shining on him. The Beshaita the Ishyalit when he was born, Ismaliyeh Kol Beis the Neuer. The Olas became became light, lichtik. And the Zoyar is finishing. Valdo Kitoiv Uksiv. And on this it says Kitoiv in the Posik. Vekule Ave. So he has finished that he had, he had everything, Moshe Rabbein. He's been born in the Eracham, or Eracham, a beer of, of Zoya. So he's saying, as the Machloik is on Rab Chia and Rab Yosi, he's not the Messias. The Choyre, Rab Yosi says she saw Maul. Rab Chia says, Rab Chia, Rab Chia says that uh, Rab Chia says that he was born Maul, and Rab Yosi says that he lied. So the so the Eracham is explaining this Zoya, and he says no, they're not. They're not there's no Machloik between them. What is the difference? Beide Altnas by Moshe is being given beide in Yonim. They had both. So what, why do they each one say something different? Beide, no ilat maul, un neuri de shrinte. The machloik is no over such a chavet gizem madishmet. The shayla is, what did your chavet appreciate? What did she look most at what thing? Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Chia says that she looks especially that it was no ilat maul. Rabbi Yossi says that, he, that she saw especially that the light in the earth. So she saw both. The question is what was more? The Rebbe is going to bring out why Rabbi Yeshi says like this, why Rabbi Chia says like this. Then he's going to compare Rabbi Chia to Rabbi Yudah Rabbi Loi, and everything is going to be unbelievable to see what Moshe's Dalge was. Now the Rebbe is going to ask the question: Why? 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 Why as the other owner is Doresh, the film Madre Gosoi. According to his level, that's what he's saying. Where do we see it? I'm saying very geschmack. Rabchie was as prin as Yesoi, brought down in Kabul to Rabchie as the level of Yesoi. Doresh, what's Yesoi? You know that in the Esser Spheres, there's Moichen in Midas. In Midas, there's Chesed Bure to Feres, Netzach, Oi. Then comes Yesoi. Yesoi is the Kabul from all the six, from all the five Midas. And Yesoi is the one that reproduction, everything has to do with Yesoi. It says in, when it says in, in, in Zoya that we stay Friday afternoon, Chesed Roy Emine, Gvuret Roy Smolo, it comes to Midas HaYisoy, it is the Aver of, 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 uh, of Bris. That's why Rabchir, because he's Prinas HaYisoy, what does he say? The Doire Shenoi Lat Maul, Shikra Al Chosed Bris HaYisoy, Maul goes on HaYisoy. Rabbi Yossi, that is Malchus, what is Malchus? Doire Shenoi Lat Maul, Shikra Al Chosed Bris HaYisoy, what is Shekhinah? We learn in the coming up not to you, we're going to learn the Maimar of Bosilegani. Shrinta means that it's resting. The Oyer Hashem is like, this is what Rabbi Yeshi says. That what? That you saw the Shrinta, that's a name, that the eyes got the light and everything. And the Siyom Ayin in Zoya, the Rabbi is adding on here something very interesting that this Siyom in Zoya, what it says, Valdoki Toivuksi Vekule Ave, is Nishan Divri Rabbi Yeshi. Rabbi brings it also from his father. It's not from Rabbi Yeshi, 
Not as come from Zoya of your toys, as I'm given by Beit Yonim Ketel Kamo. It's like the Rebbe said before, that there's no machlokis in Metzias, the Roya Rahamo says, both of them think there was both things on them. What the question is, what she emphasized. The Rebbe said, come on, I was going to explain it even more. Oisyur. The Asbore in Oisyur is Pshut Oisyur. To explain it in, 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 in simple words, we should be able to understand it. What's different with Rabbi Yosef and Rabbi Chie, what's the idea of, of uh, Neulat Maul? Or Shrinta, it's two completely different things at different levels in Moshe Rabbein. The Asbore in Oisyur is Pshut Oisyur. But in the middle of the Regis, Moshe Gifint, and Svein Yonim. We can find two ways in Moshe Rabbeinu, in his, in his superiorities, in his levels. Zaymai Levi Shleim is when you get a Atzmoy. First, we find something about Moshe Rabbeinu himself. Zayn, as, as we say, as given, the Rambab says unbelievable words. Niv Rami Kol Min Oda, the chosen of all Min Oda. He's the one that is chosen from everybody. Echer in Gansu from Welt, he was Aya from the world. And Kol Kulay Dovuk Min Yuchat Metelikus. He was here in Mata Begash, yes. And it was Dovuk Meyuch Belikus, also the Rambam, but in Ilchas Yisrael Atoiro, not in Pirusha Mishnais. This is one thing Moshe Rabbeinu, one darge, one concept, as is for himself. Based then Shleimus al Zroye was a rot Mamshuk Mamshuk Mashpia given Ale in Yonim Gashmim Veruchnim to Eden. So we have here, we see already something very interesting. As Rabbi is going to explain it more, I can't, I can't hold myself. We're seeing already the idea that Rabbi Chia saw the union of Mile. What's the name of Mile? Ismail. He was born mold. He was Lamato like Lamailo. What does what does Rabbi Yosi see? As the Shrine, what is Shrine as he has to do with other people? It's amazing, amazing what the Rabbi is making for this thing. Uh -huh. So we have to think what was the Rabbi's mother? Rabbi's <laughs> Khane. That's why that's why it's so great to to to, to be connected to. Everybody gives names to Yitzchok and Chane, because they are the schus, that's a schus, God be Yosef, they brought down the Rebbe, the Moshiach, and everything. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay. So, Moshe Rabbein gave Gashmim and Ruchnim. Gashmim, we know, he took him out of Mitzrayim, he gave him the Mon, and then he gave him the water also, and then the Anonim, everything was Moshe Rabbein. Then Ruchnim, yes, in, in Aramaic, we don't say, Roye Nemon means a, a faithful shepherd. When it comes to Kabole in, in Zoya, when it says Raye Meemne, it's a completely different word. Meemne doesn't mean a, a faithful shepherd. You know what it means? Roye Emuna. Maim of Ato Tetzave, the last time that the Rebbe gave out. Yeah? He speaks there about, in very long, the idea of Raye Meemne. That is Roye Emuna. That Moshe, and he brings on the Gemore, you know, Gamba Pumachta Te Rachmane Kalye, that we are Maminim Bnei Maminim. But the Emuna should be set in the head where you, Chaz Visholem, going to steal and say, Boy, shall make sure that it's a good steal. Nobody catches me in a place to break the house because I hope I'm not an empty house. I'll find a lot of guilt and a lot of gold. So it's, this could happen by Aid because the money is hovering. Boy, Shabbat is bringing it inside. That's what Rabbi says here. Gashmim v'ruchnim tzuhid. Nduch, nduch zei, lechol o'ilom kuloi. Boy, Shabbat is supplying the old world. Because this is forbidden to bichlal, mitatnoe. It's not only that this is for himself and this is for others. Rabbi is adding on in the, in the brackets that it's at noe from Yeride from Zaymame to Matzev Naile, was the Zecha from Welt. To be able to be Mashpia, you have to lower yourself. And he made this two Gemailes and by him given by Gilu, he take him, Rabbi said, he's even more. When did he get these two Miles? Not when he grew up. As soon as he was born, he had Noilat Mol, Shela Atzmoy. And he had the idea of, what's the second thing? Of Nismala Bay Soiro. And he made this two Gemailes. It starts this chitas, this chumi starts. Why doesn't say Moishe Roy it's in Israel? What's the idea of Oyo? Medrash says, Oyo, he was born a shepherd. He didn't come and he didn't have to go to the university to learn how to, how to be a shepherd, not to be a faithful shepherd. He was born like this. Oyo and Tukun Lekach. This is both things that we learned by Moshe Rabbeinu that he got it as soon as he was born. Where the Rebbe is explaining. No, he had more advice of his own mind of Shleimus, chosen in himself. Why from from the world, higher from the world? Was this is the reason for no, he had more. Not just that he was born. As by him, like the God, he didn't have a kiss. He doesn't have the Orle even. He was born without Orle. We are we are on the Orle on the Elam from Yitzer Ora. Look at fifty-seven. 57 more says in Sukkot, Nikro Orl. 
the Gemara can't start all the names of the Yetzirah. And one of the names is Oru. Who gave him the name Oru in Gemara? Moshe Rabbeinu. So Moshe Rabbeinu was born without the Oru, it, it, it was no Yetzirah. And that was, uh, this is one level for himself. And that was Neiru, the Shrinta, the Neuer Bay, is Ismail Yekol Beiso, the Rebbe underlined Beiso, in the Amayle Vishlemus was an Ashpoi Vahoret to Eden, Unwelt. And the river. Mitzat Prinatz is soit was his Batsiles, Yesoit is in Atsiles, Echa Fad in Evroim, is a soit Lamata Bavidas Hashem, in a Neufen, and the Azariker Amayle und Vekus Vishkash Velikus Shlemus Atsvoi. So if I look at Yesod as Rabchie was, so even Lemato, you in the level of Atsilas, and as to do with you, you're always connected to the Ebishta. That's what the Mizraj get on an echa from well. The Riba, so the Rabchie, Prinas is sought. Rabchie sees. What did, what did your heaven saw? She saw the mind of, of Moshe as is the soy that is in Atsilas. She saw that he has no orle. As the mind of Moshe was the Torah bring to Royce, is that what they shall at Mol, Moshe's mind of Shlemish Latsme. This is Mizad Rabchie. What did Mizad Rabbi Yossi? Shaprinas Malchus, what Malchus is the end of coming down the Mato, was his Maven of Roy, Mashpia in Olympus Bia, it's Malchus is not only Mashpia, Malchus is creating, we know the phrase of Silas, Malchus that Silas, Nasi Kessel the Brie, Malchus is collecting everything, less from Megal Moklum, like the moon, she's collecting everything from the Yesoid, and then she's with Sam Tsem, she gives it over the Mato, so Malchus has to do with the Mato, what is it? It is Ismaili Kolbese, or was his ma'av and evroim ashpoi nulim is biya, kum ta zoeir ba'avidus Hashem, as the rika ma'ile v'shleimus is in ashpoi v'ridu tzazulas. This is what Yochevet saw. And the riba zog rab Yoisi, prinas malchus, as the ma'ile from Moshe, not zichrong is in the demvos, neiru de shrinte de noir be ismal yekol beis in ismal abayis kol oyom. Now we understand why rab Yoisi says this, why rab Yoisi says this, beautiful how it fits and it's correct, perfect. The other rabbi, the other rabbi is going to bring out something else that's even, even like Abbe de Eibishta, we could say it, that the idea of the Atzmoy and how it comes down the matter. But Rabbi Kishem Vidari, and we mentioned before, not to forget at the beginning of this page, that the Tnue of being Mashpia, Ruchnes, Vigashmias, is a Yerid the Atzmoy. Look at this, how it happens by the Ebishtar. But Rabbi Kishem Vidari is the Milo, as the Koyach, or Ein Sof, Shem Tzuzim, Atzmusoy, Zog Zicharoi, Zdavke, in Sfiris Amalchus. Where do you see, where is the being Nikel, Metzuzim, Atzmusum, Eus? The Rambam says, who is creating Yesh Me'ayim? Davki somebody who is Metsu Yosem Yatz Musoy. So what happens then? It comes on the matter, it's a end of Yerid. Is there a Shabbos from Yesh Vedov, Onifra, to Noelim as Biyah. When you see the Spirit of Shalem, Ailo Memela. There you don't see, there is only oil. Atzilis is only oil. Where do you have Atzmus? Davki do the matter, we get Atzmus. And there is a Zerich Lemato. As the MSM Ailo, Pshit, same thing as the Lemato by us, in our Aboide. As the MSM Ailo, this is what the Rebbe brings out here, what I said before, to help somebody else, to be much on somebody else, help somebody else. Al terze zoich lemato by us, as the emise maile upshitus, zog zichois davke in der ashpoin am shochet zu azulas. Was begilo is das verbund mit a iride va ashpoin in der madrege. The Rebbe said many times, if somebody's going to say, you know what, learn with somebody I'm ready. I should go out and look for people to put on film. This is it's not for me, it's a iride. I could sit and learn in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Oi should alef. Now we're going to come back. You see, the Rebbe said, it's Yenu Shil Teiro. So we have to connect all these, the Rebbe said, we're going to preface the Zoya. Now we have to connect it back to Rashi. What does it have to do with Rashi? What is Rashi hinting us in the bringing Omar Rabbi Yudhi Rabbi Loi? As I said before, he's going to bring the Rabbi Yudhi Rabbi Loi is the one that is the same as Rabbi Yossi. And he brings down both things together as a mile of Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi brings down only Malchus, because he's Malchus. Rabbi Yudhi Rabbi Loi brings down both. Brings down Yesoit and Malchus. Unbelievable. How is and this is Rashi Meram, as Omar Abiyudu Be'Rebbe Loi, or Rishon Lekoi Mavashini Likdule, Shemino Paroi Al Beisoi. Abiyudu Be'Rebbe Loi says both things. He says Lekoi Mo, and he says Likdule. Lekoi Mo is himself, and Likdule is for Mashpia. He said, Madreg is Abiyudu Be'Rebbe Loi, because Abiyudu Be'Rebbe Loi is level, the Herzog de Maile, in Beite in Yoni. Rabchia said that she have it so only Mol. Rabbi Yoshi said that she saw only Baisoiro. Rabbi Be'Rebbe Loi says both things together. Shine them gilu from the shemus atzmoi lekoimo, as he says. Oba rabbi yudber beloi original lekoimo v'asheni likdulo. Shine the minyan fun ashpoi alazulas likdulo shemino paroi al beisoi. How do we see it? Rabbi is going to explain it. The biur in the pnimius in yoni. The chilik to vision rabbi yudber rabbi loi or rabbi yosi. We're going to bring the difference. Why is rabbi yudber loi in this level that he could bring both? 
and Rabbi Yossi is saying only mean of Malchus. Is Beide is in Yonam of Madrigosum Spiras and Malchus. They both Malchus, but there's a major difference. Rabbi Yossi is Begimatri and Loikim. Yossi is numerical value of Eloikim. And we make the calculation just in a joke, don't count Eloikim as with a kuf. Do it with a hey, because otherwise it's not gonna it's not gonna be the right numbers. Uh, it's not gonna work, yeah. Okay, for Shem Eloikim, why Shem Eloikim Malchus? Very simple to understand. What's Eloikim? Eloikim is Begimatri Ateva, Eloikim is Betsamtsem, Avaya is Yudke Vovke, Aya de Noilomes. So Eloikim has to do with Malchus. This is Rabbi Yaisi. A few days below, you know, you do was does this in Yon of Sphira Samalchus, as Rebbe brings down from Teroy from Malt Rebbe, that it's on. Yehudo is past this in Shutash Mikro when we learn Yehudo, is a palm oides Hashem, thanking Hashem, praising Hashem. But Chsides is learning that Yehudo comes also from the Lashon of Yudoe, Yudoe means I'm admitting. What means admitting? Bittl. Who is Bittl? Malchus. Let's look at more clue. We said before, Malchus is like the moon. The moon has nothing, she's just receiving. Same thing here also. So we came to a conclusion that both of them have the Indian of Malchus. By Rabbi Yossi, we see Elohim, but Rabbi Yudhi, we see Oidoi, Oidoi is in from Bittu. Now the Rabbi is going to bring out what is the difference between them and where do we see that Rabbi Yudhi, but Rabbi Loi, as the Maile that sees both things in Moshe Rabbeinu, not like Rabbi Yudhi and Rabbi Yossi, that they see only one. It's a Badoa Chilik to Mishan Zay. A Muridik Chilik. Unbelievable. Rabbi Yossi is the Shvira Samalchus, is the Redes in Biyah. Rabbi Yudhi, is Vishvira Samalchus is Nochin Atziles. What does it mean? Very simple. We said before that Malchus has nothing. Malchus is collecting everything from the spheres. So Malchus has, like to say, three stages. So Malchus says she's collecting, Malchus says she's for herself, then Malchus says she's metzamzem and gives over. So the Rebbe says very simple. Rabbi Yoshi Vishvira Samalchus is Yeredes in Biya. So when he comes down in Biya, what is he seeing? He's seeing already Biya, he doesn't see the mile. That's why you could see both, both things together. Look at this unbelievable. If you bring it down in the names, you'll see the difference. Where do we see it? Rabbi Yezib is Begimat Re'elikim. As we said before, you know what it means, Re'elikim? Those says, Aleph, she is no shame Re'elikim and it's shame Avaye. Rabbi Yezib has nothing indication in them of shame Avaye. It's only shame Re'elikim. Right? Yezib is Re'elikim. Based on other things, what Rabbi Yezib has, and in them, Guf and Nishvi Elohim state by Gilui, and we state Nagimat Rebel Vesa. His name is not Elohim. What is his name? Yoisi. The Alter Rebbe says in Sharo Yichet Vemuno, but then you take a word and you transform it into numerical value, and you learn another word. Like from Yoisi, you make Elohim, comes from Simsumim and Simsumim. So I see that it's not, he doesn't have Shema Vaye, and it does, his name is not Elohim, his name is Yoisi. Now, it comes to Yehudo, it's unbelievable. Mashenke Yehudo, was in them words stay in the oasis to shame Avaya Begiloy. In Yehudo, it says, it says Yud Kevovke. You have Adalid also, but there's Yud Kevovke there. So what does, what does Rabbi Yudah have? Rabbi Yudah has Malchus because he is Zoidoe, and he has Yehudo Yud Kevovke. That's why he has both things together. Omar Rabbi Yudah Berebeloi, Orishin Lekoimo Vashen Elikdoya. And the Fung Kumtoir Der Chilik Ben Yadeinu. Now we understand what the difference is here. Mitzad Rabbi Yudah Yudah Malchus Kumtarop in Biya. That's why he saw, what did she see? What was the emphasis Rabbi Yehoshi says? She saw the light. Before he's, before he's going down. So the dark girls, they come back in Yonim and Miles. When he said, Malchus was born in the Yuchad, from the Sphere of the Milo, from him. And he said, 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 Things she has the mile that she's in Atsilas, mile that she could bring it down also. This is Rabbi Rebbe Rebbe Look in our uh, 70. The Islam has Lochenko of Rashi Gam, the Rebbe Loi. Why is that to emphasize that Rabbi Yudha has the mile of Atsilas and has the mile of coming down? What's the Loi? You could have said, why doesn't it say Stam Omar Rabbi Yudha? In the hour, in the beginning, we brought Gimor Rebbe, the Stam Rabbi Yudha is Rabbi Yudha. So say Omar Rabbi Yudha. What does Rashi have to say Omar Rabbi Yudha? Rabbi Loi. Everything is calculated and everything is with a husband and everything is fit. So he says, that's why he brings them to Rabbi Loi. Why is that? As Malchus is related and connected to Ayer in Atsilas. We see now in a different uh, language. She's not a bit in Sphira Samalchus. There is a bit in Malchus. There is a bit in Malchus. Because the Rabbi is going to bring down a muscle from a Melech. Same thing is here also in Malchus. 
Malchus has to have the greatest beetle. And the Gemara tells us in the Aloha is that we are davening Shemineser, we do four times bowing down, yeah? We do Boruch, we move our knees, Ato is bowing down, and then we stand up by Hashem. A Melech, it's not like this. Well, you know what Melech is? When he starts Shemineser, he says Boruch, Ato, he stays like this all Shemineser. Why? Because he's a Melech, he has to have more beetle. He's, he's a godly, he's a melech, he's running everything. From the other side, if he's going to be like this in the meluche, he's ochum way, he's, he's no more meluche. And my Roshel Malchus, there's no melech. The Rebbe is finishing, on the either this Nasus from melech, or if man, he must have this Nasus also. Same thing as Malchus also. Malchus has the idea of Beatle coming down, which has the idea of Lamaile. This is Rabbi Rebeloi. The Rebbe brings the Roshel Rabbi Rebeloi, be the Mailes. Rabbi Rebeloi is bringing out both. Side is famous at Smoy. The Shlemus of Moshe Rabbeinu asked when in us also, the Richot and Vekus from Telekus, Echa von Oben zu Ton mit Zulas, Vodos is a Rishon le Koimo, himself, everything by himself, Noilat Mol. The Shlemus Nashpoe, Beis Nasus, Oiva Zulas, Asheni Ligdula, Shimino Paroi, Al Beis. So we have the mile of Mille, we have the mile of Oba Bais, Moshe has both miles as soon as he was born, he has both miles, there's the mile of Aroe and Nemon, and there's the mile of Latzmoy also. This is Shabbos Bar Shishmo, it's Tov Shin, Lamed Zayim.